Last Friday, Greater Boston Area Youth marched to the State House to remind lawmakers that climate change needs urgent action. Belmont High School's Climate Change Club was part of the strike. David Webster, Belmont Journal citizen journalist, was there. Tell me what democracy looks like! This is what democracy looks like! We are in Poplar Square right now and at about 10.30 a climate strike is going to begin so we are going to be hearing from some speakers and there's a lot of energy here coming in today. There's a lot of youth and we plan to march to the State House where we will march in and pressure legis legislator. Green New Deal isn't just a resolution, it's a revolution which it has <laughs> And that revolution <laughs> is reflected in the young people who are rising up. I'm Margo Danahy. Um, I'm the partnerships lead for the Boston Climate Strike. So basically, I facilitated partnerships with 25 organizations around Boston. The Boston Climate Strike uh, is an organization built up of over 100 youth um, in the Boston area and we've been holding strikes and actions since last March. I'm Madeline Kitch and with Kate I co-founded the Climate Action Club this year. For me at least the science has been crystal clear for decades. What's really lacking is I think the legislature, the people, the people in government need to take action which is why this is here and going to the State House later on today. We've done a couple of things. Um, we've gone to a lobby day. We've done some striking. And I learned about a paper bag tax that we're trying to implement in local stores. I've always been concerned for all the different types of endangered animals that um, are being affected by climate change and also many people in other countries. I think it's really important to try and stop climate change so these people still have a future and my generation and the generations after us have hope for a future. I think youth should be involved for many reasons. I think, first of all, youth provide an energy and momentum to movements that is unparalleled to any other um, age group. But also, we're talking about a crisis that is going to impact the youth and impact generations to come. We're going to be living with the impacts of this crisis for 80, 100 more years. So I think this is really a youth issue, and I have faith that we are the right generation and we're going to be able to stop it. Strike for us, strike for the